All right, once again, we got another game here, and we got Jin as the teal Protoss at the 11 o'clock position. And for our white Zerg, it's Rook as the white Terran in the 5 o'clock position. First off, starting off really good. Basic stuff. Just getting workers. Keeping everything going very smoothly. Good high APMs. 600 each. 500. Still really good APMs. Just trying to keep their... Get their blood pumping. <laughs> hmm. So we're going to have the Terran versus Protoss. Wonder what's going to be happening if they're going to be going for default. So basically, I wonder if the Protoss is going to go for a goons range, and I wonder if he's going to be going for either a barracks for three marine fast expand, or if he's going to be doing a marine tank push out of his base to go in and get that second uh, first expansion in his natural. Jin's going to scout out early with his ninth probe here, and he's going to go towards the first position at the 1 2 o'clock position. But then again, he's going to also catch Rook and see if he's going to be going for that quick factory. There you go, the barracks is going to go down right now. So far, so good. No simulator let. Yep, here comes the simulator. Very nice. Probe coming on in. Scouting it. He's going to be scouting this next area, which is going to be Rook's base. So this gateway is going to be going up, and he's going to be getting the Cybernetics Core right away. I doubt he's going to be getting a Zealot at all. Should be sending a probe down right now. Where's that probe? There's the probe. And Cybernetic Core going down. Very nice. Oh, SCV is holding back this probe. Very nice work here. Oh, very nice. It slips by, but very good pull block so far by Rook. He's checking if there's any hidden factories. Doesn't check the whole area of Fog of War, but he's going to assume that he's not building it yet. He's going to start harassing, be that one person who's going to harass the probes, SCVs. Marine's coming out. There you go, very nice. And he's going to go for a factory. So he's going to be going for a tank push out, potentially. Unless he's going to go for mines, assuming that he's worried about a potential DT rush. Which I doubt. Alright, the first one is going to be a Dragoon. The, the minerals and gas have just been spent. And he's going to get range. There's the range spinning up right there. So far, Rook is doing fine himself. He's going to do this right away. Get his factory and expansion, the machine shop. Get that tank and push out. So far, good. Keeping up on his SCV count. As well as the probe count. Another probe is going to be coming out here for, for a pylon. But is this going to be a sneaky... Is this going to be a sneaky play? Is he going to try hide any tech here? Or is he just doing it just for scouting reasons if he's going to be getting counter drop by Rook? Oh, and there's the expansion getting built up. He's going to eventually get that tank. Dragoon already on its way. Tank is not going to be out in time. So we'll see how Rook holds against Jin. Very nice. There's still going to be no supply bug by Rook, but this is going to be a little bit worrisome until that first tank comes out. Second Dragoon on its way. Oh, here comes the first Dragoon. And he gets into the base. This is very bad for Rook. This could be a very, very quick game. The tank is on its way. He has to pull SCVs off the line. SCV got in. Saw the basic default stuff. He didn't. I don't believe he saw that pylon on the right side. He does see that. As if he could surround, he's gonna go in and kill this dragoon. Very nice. 
But he did lose two SCVs. No, one Marine, one SCV. Very nice. Actually, he took that very minimal damage. Second Dragoon on its way over. But I believe it's just going to be do a small contain. Machine Workshop already potentially working on mines. Because if he does get Siege Tank, that could also work. But he hasn't caught out if there was going to be DTs or if it's going to be a shuttle reaver drop. Go to high ground for the Dragoon to be pushed out. Pushing forward that barracks to go ahead and put, cause a potential small wall there. Siege mode has been activated. Gonna put both siege tanks on the high ground. He doesn't want to have them exposed to the lower ground. Okay, very nice. He's gonna bring it down actually. Transferring probes over. Second, exp first expansion is already up. And this is gonna be a one gate. Is this gonna be a one gate? Where's the robotics? Oh, Observer, okay. So this is gonna be an Observer. So no no shuttle reaver just yet. Then again, Jin is high on money. Is he gonna be spending it on another base or is he gonna be spending it on some tech? Okay, some additional gateways. Three additional gateways right off the bat. That's very, that's gonna be very, very annoying for the Terran if he doesn't scout this out. Because right now I believe he's just expecting there to be an additional expansion, which he was good, very nice. He does he didn't understand that he was very low on certain buildings. It's a good block just in case, but it is going to be a wrong call. Okay, he's going to get the Citadel of a Dune. There you go, this is going to be DTs. DTs are going to be on their way very soon. But Rook has nothing to respond. Oh, there it is. The Academy Bay is on its way. And this looks like a... But yes, an armory. Alright, an armory as well. Very small, contained with the Dragoons. But he wouldn't be able to block this expansion to the 6 o'clock. Two Dragoons at home. Wait for that tech to come out. And here comes another expansion by Jin. Gonna possibly be starting that pile on wall. Or Dragoon comes into support. Observer to go in and scout out if he has any detection. Scan has not been built. He needs to start making those scans soon. To the Dell of a Dune. Oh, he's going to go for a Zealot leg push. Because he hasn't built that Templar's Archives yet. Ryan right to the main base. Oh. Will he catch the CC though? There's fast another expansion coming out by Rock Rook. Goliath's coming out. As well as the Comsats. Comsats station's coming out. Zealots being produced. He's going to go for a potential gateway bust. Mumon has left the game. <laughs> War Factory's coming up. Did he get the Observer? He did. He did get the Observer. Easy. Oh, wait. Did it? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Observer's lingering around on top of the barracks. He did not see. Jen did not see that nut like that other expansion. Alright, he's pushing out. He's gonna be potentially doing this to protect that expansion. Oh, and the oh my god, the dragoons are gonna push in. Oh, the eBay is trying to go up. He has to come back. He has to defend this. He has to make this wall. He has to finish this wall. Is it going to be too late? Are the Zealots going to get in there? Oh no. Oh no. The siege isn't up. Oh no. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. The Dragoons are going to get in there. Finish off the tanks as the Zealots absorb some of the damage. Lines getting pulled. Zealots getting finished off here. The Dragoons need to be taken care of. He needs to destroy yeah, Very nice. His SCVs are distracting the Dragoons. Siege mode being activated. Has to pull back. Decent hold by Rook, but also took a lot of damage. He's not using this starport at all. He does not have his science facility being made. So he could get science vessels for that EMP. Very... Oh, just started his weapons one upgrade. So that'll be up in about 12 minutes. 
Vulture's going out to play some mines. Oh. But he does have an observer. He needs to get this eBay, play some turrets, and potentially kill this observer. Additional gateways going up. No Templar archives, he's just going to be continuing a gate. Alright, very small. Oh, there you go. He's transferring SCVs and also trying to clear out these Dragoons that just got dropped. No damage. He does not have range on that. The Goliaths. Any upgrades going for the Terran? No. The Oh, Weapons 1 just finished. That's very good for the Terran. He's definitely going to have this advantage on top of the Protoss because he just started way too late. But then again, Jin is also a little bit late on expansions because Rook has a third already before Jin. He's trying to finish off this pylon wall. Is it solid? Is it solid? Or are these vultures going to get by? It seems solid. But he is going to get mined outside of his base. Just a little escort. Make sure nothing comes by that. Potentially seeing an Arbiter pass through it, hopefully. Before he gets cleared out by an Observer. Massing up Zealots. He's going to go for a big push, probably with Mass Zealots. Oof. That's good scout. This is a good find by the... Oh, get into the base, see if you can find out what he's doing. He needs to see this, the Templar Archives and the Starport. Will he see it? No, he's going in the back to see if he could get some hits. Okay, and he sees it. Very nice. That's a lot of intel right there. He knows exactly what's going on. He needs to prepare. He needs to lower that barracks right away. Just in case, because he's going to be pushing soon. Zealot's so coming up to the front line. One is not finished yet. He's probably going to be waiting for one upgrade to be finished. Weapons 1 is going to be finished in probably about another minute. While Terran is also working on armor. Unless he waited to get weapons 2 with that science facility. Fultures mining up. Getting ready for this assault on the third expansion. Very nice, took out the observers, but he does know that there are is there is a big minefield in front. Picking up more zealots to go ahead and drop on those siege tanks. It does look like Jin is puzzled of where to attack. More or less, it looks like he's going to be waiting for arbiters to come out because without that, it looks like Jin is actually kind of lost. He's worried about attacking the front and the third expansion. While Rook is going for a drop. I did not see what he picked up. I'm going to assume that he picked up a few vultures. Jin is still patrolling the center of the base, the center of the map. Rook's still getting at vultures out and he's going to check out and see if he can find any other locations. And Oh, is he going to catch this expansion? Maybe he could kill this pro before he gets up. Will he get it? Will he get it? Will he get it? Ooh, very nice. He he sees it, but he needs to kill it. Oh, and then here comes the vultures. It's gonna check out this expansion, see if he can do some damage. While distracted, he's doing a drop. And then natural. Three kills so far. Four. Five. Six. Seven kills so far. Very well. V very well done. Ooh, nine, 10, 11, 12. This is a lot of damage. This is a lot of damage done by Rook. Very good job by him. Had to transfer the probes to the third expansion. Putting a big supply wall in front of this third base. Vulture coming around, checking for any additional probes. And this supply, this Terran dropship is going to go in for another drop? Did it pick up other vultures? Yes, it did. Oh. Alright, he's going to get it out. He's just going to keep waiting until they open up. Keep bringing SCVs back. Still, there is this one science vessel. Only one science vessel with very minimal energy. He's going to sc scout out this observer. He needs to get it a little bit closer. He's going to take this out, or is he going to scout out the rest of the base? He's going to see this. He's going to see this star the Terran starport. He only has one. 
Nothing I researched, he assumes that he's going to have it already. But where are the Arbiters? The Arbiters are just being made. No Arbiters on the map yet. And he's going to get in here and do more damage. This is too much damage. Jin should not be able to take this much damage right now. He's going to definitely fall behind. He's going to be spending more money and time on building probes than he is going to be building this huge army that he wants. He's going to have to rely on a really good, really good recall. He's also going to have to wait for a, quite a long time. He needs to wait an additional two or three minutes before that ha has enough energy. Two shuttles loaded up with potentially zealots and dragoons. Rook playing it safe, slowly sieging out of his base. He does note that the Protoss army is there. Oh, is he going to expose it right away? Let's see what happens. Okay, so he did. He does see the Arbiter. Alright, he needs to prepare this science vessel to get an EMP off. He needs that perfect EMP to make sure it doesn't have enough energy. While there is any other Arbiter- Yes, there is another Arbiter at home that's going to be saving up energy. Sending a group of vultures to go in and scout out the northern side. Oh, he did find another Nexus. He needs to cut this probe. Very nice. Even though it did get walled off, he is going to stop anything else from being made by that probe. He's sending his army a little bit forward. He does scout out the enemy army. Very safe. He's playing very safe. Sieging up before any real engagement. Will he continue to advance or is he just going to go for that fourth, fourth base? Slowly going to wither that down. Hopefully break one of those pylons down so he could push in with a couple more vultures to take out the rest of that base. Additional... Zealots and Dragoons are going to be made and pushed to the front. Where did that Arbiter go? Ooh, looks like they're going to have to fight. Oh, so we got a little battle here going. If he could get an EMP off. He needs a very nice EMP for this. Those two Arbiters are standing right on top of each other. Where, there it is. Oh, Defense Matrix. Okay, there is almost enough energy for recall on this Arbiter with one kill. Alright, he's going to deny this base. He should cancel, but he doesn't. Is he going to set up for a drop, or is he not? Yes, there he is. Setting up for the recall right now. Will he be ready, though? Rook needs to pull back right now, but he does not know this is happening. Okay, let's see if he's going to see it with these mines early. Okay, Rook should see it. He's not looking for it. Okay, he's sending his guys back right now. And the recall. No, he's going all the way to the main. He's going to go into the main base? No? What is he doing? EMP, EMP. Where's the EMP going? Very nice EMP. Very nice EMP. Two more. Two more coming. Oh, very nice. These EMPs are really good. Very spot on EMPs. Pushing the army forward, he knows that he has defended that. While having two vultures finish off this Nexus. There's not much Jin can do right now until he gets additional energy on these Arbiters to do a recall because it seems like any engagement he's been very, very scared to fight. He needs to potentially have some additional Templars to st storm these tanks. Oh, these Zealots are in the back line. This is not going to be good. Take a lot of damage. Those Dragoons got to get back. He doesn't want to lose as many of those. He could just... Oh, no. It looks like Rook is going to potentially go in for the kill here. Oh, no. He's playing it safe. Oh, he's leaving his... Uh, he's leaving his freaking tank still exposed. A lot of tanks went down there. But he does not have enough. This is not going to be a good engagement for Jin. Jin is going to definitely lose this army. And he's, he should have pulled back. But he's trying to do as much tanks as he can to these tanks. The more tanks he can take. Oh, wait. Oh, and the reinforcements come in. Oh, the siege tanks down here. I did not spot these. Additional zealots coming in. Hopefully to finish the rest of these tanks off. But laying mines down. Some low health on these arbiters with very low energy as well. Oof. Pops the science vessel. 
Looks like he has 3-2 when the Protoss player only has 1-2. This is very bad for the position of Jin. He needs to get these upgrades out way quicker. He's going to definitely fall behind. Jin is going to get assaulted right now by Rook. He's pushing forward, slowly creeping forward towards his base. Keeping these, science, these shuttles and these Arbiters at bay. Getting some very good EMPs. He's going to siege up, take out more of these Dragoons. These Zealots are too far in the back line to even do real damage because they're too busy stepping on top of these Dragoons. GG called by Jen. Rook takes the game. And that is a Terran victory. GG.